Hello everyone, this is Sensei Starman and welcome back to Let's Play the Bard's Tale Remastered and Resnart. Well, last time you'll remember we defeated the mechanical Centurion Lu. We have vanquished the Mountain Tower, which is now collapsing around us. And there are a bunch of druids coming to kill us. I'll stay right here. Attack! Exploring! Anyway, I currently have the Light Fairy, the Explorer, and the Crone. I am going to go ahead and get rid of the Light Fairy. So that I can summon our other new summon. The Knight. For King and Country! And since we hadn't gotten a description of this fellow just yet, and hey, we are just about to level. Heavy glove. Wrong one. Now we want the tune list. To get to... The mercenary, typical of his sort, crude, rude, and very handy to have around in a fight. Once again, certain parallels could be drawn to the bard. A valiant knight. Honest, brave, noble, nearly invincible in battle. Of course, also not very bright, but as we see with our own hero, nobody's perfect. And since I don't think we got all of these last time... The Fire Elemental. A seething inferno of liquid fire. Very effective at burning things up, and not much else. This, of course, made it effective at one more thing than the Bard. Although fragile, the Thunder Spider could destroy most foes with a steady stream of lightning long before they were able to retaliate. A cruel and vicious creature. Though still fragile, this rat was easily the most foul-tempered rodent anyone had ever laid eyes on. In this respect, he just barely edged out the bard. Hmm. Once a daring finder of lost treasures, the explorer was still adept at finding secrets and uncovering traps. Getting out of the way of them, however, was a different matter. The Light Fairy, a curious creature attracted by music, always happy to light the way when darkness closes in. All right, so now it's time to fight our way out. This is uh, likely to be a very repetitive chapter. We're just going to be hacking our way through minions. As you can see, the knight even worse the effort. is very much like the mercenary, yeah. only a Never bit more him. defensively able. And I should note that I hope we make it through this time, because I've had the game crash twice uh, as I was attempting to play through this part. But I am a completist when it comes to getting every single bit of XP I can out of killing these druids. We triumph! Be healed! Thankfully, we do not have to worry about any... loot on the way down because we already uh, opened all the treasure chests. And uh, I mentioned last time that the upgraded explorer has the ability to find secret passages. Well, uh, I double checked a guide and confirmed that there are not in fact any secret passages on the way out of the mountain tower, but we're going to go ahead and leave the explorer around anyway because he will be handy when we come to the parts where the traps are reactivated. To hell with the blackguard! Yeah. 
Also, the Explorer is very handy for grabbing loot, so we don't have to worry about it. Looks like this poor fellow got caught in the doorway. Stonehenge keepsake. Healing. We triumph. Thou art found wanting. Are we leveling now? Eh, not much fervor. Not even worth the effort. Ah, just a bit of junk. There we go, level up. Now we'll go ahead and get that last one, make sure there's nobody else, and go ahead and level up. The stronger the bard is, the more damage he can inflict with melee weapons. I'm going to go ahead and boost vitality. Rhythm allows the bard to play magical tunes with greater skill, enhancing the statistics of summoned creatures. A high vitality will increase the bard's health, making him more difficult to defeat in battle. Okay, so I put a point in Rhythm and a point in Vitality, which are both being boosted by artifacts we have already. Strange I haven't found a token that uh, boosts dex yet.
We triumph! been down this dead end before. a bit of junk. We triumph! Not even worth the effort. Be healed! I smell a trap! Be healed! <sighs> Must stop. Trap! We'll stop it then. Found wanting. That's one level down, or up, I should say. Let's head on down to two. We triumph! If by triumph you mean burst into flame very quickly, then yes, yes, you triumph. Draw sprayed! Death to the bard! Ah, just a bit of junk. Why are we even bothering with this? I have taken my measure of the victory! Careful, laddie. There's a trap. You don't say.
Victory! Worthless! Not even worth the effort. I smell a trap! And yeah, I don't think there's anything down Captain this way, Lord, but young man. more stuff to attack, but no, no, knight, do not stand there. Do not stand there, knight. I smell a trap. <laughs> and it's also a dark path, so we'll just avoid that. <laughs> We triumph! Tianak God! Victory! Death to the Bard! I must say we're making a lot faster progress this time than we were on the forest tower. Of course, we also haven't completely explored every nook and cranny this time, because I uh, am reasonably sure that there were no druids waiting for us in the dark tunnel with the traps. Smell a trap. I smell a trap. even worse the effort. Careful, laddie. There's a trap. Death to the bard! Not sure how my allies get ahead of me, but I'm not going to question it. Victory! Tianak God! We triumph! Why are we even bothering with this? Not even worth the effort. Fortune and glory, old man. Fortune and glory.
Ooh, that had to hurt. Okay, I'm not sure if we can make it all the way through level 1 before we hit the half hour mark, so this may be a little longer chapter than usual. But I don't think you'll mind if it means we don't have to spend two chapters playing through, going through the dungeon tower once again. Why are we even bothering with this? just to make this a little more interesting. I'll go ahead and switch to my two-handed sword, and hey, it's a lightning sword. Have at the fiend! Here we are back in the arena. Victory! Death to the Bard! Zianaka! I think I will switch back to the bow, though. I think I'm going to use a bit of a healing stone real quick. We triumph! Sorry, out of power. Now, well, luckily, they don't seem like coming down this pathway. Need my help.
It's cracking! Well, that actually seems to be all of them. Well, alright, we survived the tower. But I'm going to go ahead and stop this chapter here. And next time, we will leave the tower, see what's waiting for us out there, and move on to the village of Donne. Thank you all for watching. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. Leave a comment if you are so inclined. And I'll see you all next time. Take care until then.